Alpha Squad waypoint. So in this situation, the platoon lead has put Alpha Squad waypoint or the platoon waypoint on Split Peak Pass, and he has given directives to get on the points. And in this uh, situation where we're doing uh, advanced squad leading, we I am going to split the squad up into our fire teams. So I want fire team diamonds to drop on the B point and fire team hearts to drop on the C point or the A point. Sorry. So Niku's squad is going to drop on the diamonds A point, and my squad is going to drop on B. And in this this is the point where we would now devolve into fire team comms. But you All want right. us to drop on, B on diamonds? Yeah, you are hearts, okay. so drop on hearts. Okay. Alright, everyone, get ready to drop. About se seven seconds. Drop, yeah, drop, 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 drop. Get on point, get on point. Alright, and now we're in, we're in a very modular position, so Diamonds just dropped on B and there's no hostiles here, so I'm going to say as a squad lead, Diamonds, we are joining Hearts at A, so Diamonds, move out. Roseanne, can I ask a quick question? Sure. What will you do regarding uh, squad beacons in this situation, since we're split between two points? Oh uh, yeah, that's a good question. Squad beacons are going to uh, fall under the control of the, of the squad leader. Okay, thanks. I've got ammo for you here. Thanks. Nicely done, nicely done. Now in this situation, now that uh, Diamonds has helped Hearts, Hearts is going to get on A point, Diamonds fall back to B, then we go back in the fire team car. Get back on B, Diamonds. All the doors, just two doors in, west facing, east And now while we're riding out of the defense, I do want to kind of go over to what Deal uh, was talking about a minute ago. So, the ASL squad, or fire team, so Niku's Hearts fire team is, is, is an extension of the squad leader squad. So, Diamonds controls the um, the beacons, but Diamonds and the, therefore the squad lead should be cognizant of like where the beacons should be placed to also support hearts. So in this situation, you don't want to spread, or in any situation, you do not want to spread your fire teams too far out. And this is probably the best situation I could think of. Diamonds is at B, hearts is at A, and we're, we're very close to each other. So we could just put, say, Horace, go outside put a beacon. That beacon is directly supporting B, but if Alpha needs to spawn, or if uh, Hearts needs to spawn, they can spawn on the beacon and attack A from B. And this gives us tactical flexibility in the sense that if A gets swamped by more people than Hearts can handle, Hearts can then deploy onto Diamonds, and then Diamonds and Hearts can then just attack B to or A together as Alpha Squad. So, controlling the beacons and, and keeping your squads close but not too close or your fire team's close but not too close, is the best way to go about it. You do not want to put your fire teams on, like, distant targets. There's still a squad that acts together. You're just acting a little bit further apart than most squads do because you feel like you can control it. So we're going to ride out this defense timer. Does anyone have any other questions? Alright, nicely done, nicely done. So what we're going to do is we're going to just piggyback off of this. I want everyone to just go ahead and redeploy. We're just going to pull an another Valk drop from Split Peak. So everyone just hit the U key. Uh, I'm going to pull a Valk for Diamonds and some Niku or someone can pull a Valk from, for Hearts. I'll pull, I'll pull it for Hearts. And we are going to be going to East Hills Checkpoint. Uh, which Valkyrie is it again? 
for I think it's diamond. We have three. I think we have three Valkyries up now. Yeah, there's a bit of confusion. How many Valkyries we pulled for parts? Yeah, this is why com or comms are pretty important. You gotta, you gotta call out when you're gonna pull so we know for which squads. Uh, I see three Valks up. I did call it out. So yeah, yeah, I know you did. All right, I'm gonna pull one for diamonds. Just get, just get into the Valks. This is not, it's not super important. It's just good to get practice in. So if you're in diamonds, just get in the, in the pros and the horses, and let's just head towards Alpha Squad Waypoint now. I wasn't actually piloting one, I was just sitting in it. Okay. Let's just get there. Uh, I, the Valk drops are, are, depending on the public platoon, pretty much always going to be sloppy. We'll go ahead and get out if you're in my Valk. Out, out, out. It's gotten to the point where I don't even bother with Valk drops half the time. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just good practice to have. I know how to do it, it's just no one ever seems to want to participate. Okay, so I just ma mainly wanted to just get us here. This would be the instance of where we are not taking points, but it is still worthwhile to split up the squad. Uh, this is a good base for that. So, holding A point is very important. So in this, in this situation, I'm going to put Diamond Squad on A point. I want Hearts to move forward to hold the building in front of A point. So, Hearts, you are going to go here. And hold that building. And what this is doing is that while the Hearts Waypoint building is not necessarily a point, it is, a, it is the, on the approach to the point. So, Hearts can basically be our early skirmishers, and we're not putting all of our eggs in one basket. Diamond is doing a point hold. Hearts is doing an advanced hold to play the enemy Hearts, I don't want you crossing the road, just stay in that building, hold the doors, keep your guns on the road, but do not cross it. Diamonds, just keep holding this A point. And like we just uh, displayed at Split Peak, it's not the biggest deal in the world for there to be some confusion. Like, as long as your squad gets there and falls back in line, that's fine. Like, there was a couple uh, extra Valkyries pulled, it was a little sloppy, but we got, the, the main purpose of a Valk drop is to get us here. And we got here, and now the squad, the, the fire teams are where they should be. Hearts is holding an advanced position while Diamond's just, yeah, yeah, see, there's an info right there. Yeah, so, Hearts is holding an offensive position, and we're, and Diamond's is point holding, just in case any random info Valk drops come in on this. And we're still close enough to where we can support each other. If... If the TR comes and Gal drops or Valk drops the point, I can just tell Hearts to turn around and reinforce by uh, by hitting them on the point, and vice versa. If Hearts dies uh, defending A point or defending the advanced building, we will just have beacons up or a spawn close to A point. Hearts just spawns and reinforces diamonds in the defense, and then once we hold them off, Hearts can then push back onto that building. So it's just keeping the squads flexible, keeping them close enough to where we can basically yo-yo diamonds and hearts together at, at, at certain objectives. And the objectives don't necessarily need to be... Or you cut out prayers, I don't know if you're still talking right now. No, nah, I'm not talking. I was just letting it over. Okay. Letting it finish. Alright, good cap, good cap. Alright, so let's do... We're gonna redeploy off of here, so go ahead and hit the U-key. Good, good, good attack here, everyone. We'll wipe, wipe all the waypoints, everyone hit the U-key. So there really isn't a good defense going on for me to display this, so we're just going to do a mock one. Uh, we're, the squad's going to go to Arexacom substation, and we're already on point there, but we're going to pretend that that we uh, need to get there to help. So I am just going to pull a galaxy, and I want the full squad into the galaxy. All right, my galaxy is up. Now, here's a good tip. 
for all of you that might struggle with Valk drops uh, in this instance with advanced squad leading. If you're struggling with a Valk drop, uh, just do a Gal drop and, and just do it in stages. So I need everyone to be in this galaxy, please, because this is just going to be practice. So in this instance, we're, we're with a public platoon. I'm just going to say, everyone, look at, while, we're, while we're flying over here, look in the bottom left part of your screen. Take note of what fire team you're in, because I'm going to call a drop for two different fire teams. So take note whether you're in hearts or whether you're in diamonds. And instead of us all dropping together, I'm going to drop hearts on one objective and diamonds on another. Now, th this is mostly cleaned up, so this is just going to be for exercise. But let's say I want hearts to drop in three, two, one, just hearts. Take the building you dropped on. Diamonds drop now. Diamonds drop now. And then take the building you drop on. The diamonds you're taking that building on top of the hill, hearts were taking, or, or diamonds were taking this building, hearts you're taking the building on the top of the hill. Right with me. And then we fall back into fire team comms. So get in here, get in here, hold the doors, hold the doors. And then we would, the squad lead would take stock of the situation. Are we doing well? Or are we doing poorly? And then, and then we would kind of either combine or move elsewhere or stuff like that. But you can totally do galaxy drops. And if you're having trouble with organizing Valk drops, just do a gal drop. Just have the squad lead. Just put everyone in a in a gal and just drop them off in stages like we just did. And it doesn't need to be perfect as long as everyone kind of gets to the objective event. Yeah, this is pretty much completely cleaned up. Okay, anyone have any questions about that? Sounds good, sounds good. Alright, let's hit the U key, please. So we're going to do something a little bit more advanced, and this is not something that I would tell advise you to do unless you are confident in your squad like you know they've they've responded to a bunch of the things you you've asked them to respond to so what we're going to do is i want hearts i'm gonna put discounts up at west pass i want hearts to pull lightnings and sunderers from west pass watchtower and move to secure cobalt geological so that's hearts Pull lightnings and sunders from, from West Pass and move to secure Cobalt Geological. Diamonds, I'm going to pull a Valkyrie, and you are going to get in my Valkyrie. So look for Prison's Valkyrie from West Pass. So in this instance, uh, the ASL Niku would tell would tell his fire team over everyone, either get in my Sunday or get in a Sunday or gun for a Sunday or pull a lightning or something. We're going to go secure Cobalt Geological while Diamonds is leapfrogging over Start getting on point at Cobalt Toms. Um, right, everyone get in here? Yep, good, looking good, looking good. Uh, Bjorn, you're technically in hearts. Alright, diamonds drop, drop, drop. Get on point, get on point, get on point. Apparently dead. Now, in this situation, we actually did get on point here at Cobalt Comms, but we're kind of simulating that you would need to take Cobalt Geological. So, in... If you do come into a situation like this where the one of your fire teams go ahead, you know, go, goes ahead and makes an, one another objective kind of redundant, just tell them hearts. Just join diamonds with your armor and kind of support the point hold. In this instance, fire uh, fire team hearts, you're doing a good job of staying together. Just go sit on Cobalt Geological for a second, and then move on to join us at Cobalt Comms. Uh, just a quick statement: close stairs, top roof. Roger. And in this instance, when we're practicing calm discipline, that would have been something for uh, just fire team chat, because it's a call out that's only relevant to fire team diamonds. Uh... I'll get you fixed uh, blast. up. Looks like I need to be off. So fire. see you later. See you later. Yeah. Conglomerate Reaper, visual on hostile light assault trooper. All right. Keep holding.
holding the doors, do not go outside, stay near your medics. Just push up. Yeah, push up and join us, we're getting a lot of uh, resistance here. Yeah, someone go up and get H. They're on point, they're on point. Are we wiped? You are better than this. All right. Show them. All right, so Diamonds just got wiped off point of Cobalt Comms, which is another w another uh, cool thing about the modularity of this type of system. I'm going to put the squad pit waypoint at Cobalt Comms, but now we're actually getting Hearts uh, Sunderers deployed and up here. So now Diamonds can just spawn on Hearts Logistics, and as a full squad, we can kind of get together and start moving back onto the A point here. Now, Di Diamond should have put a beacon up, and I forgot to call that out, but uh, we also probably should have had beacon, a beacon. The so Hearts, your uh, directive is now to just get Sundays deployed and get your armor either in the base or get out of armor and join us into assaulting the A point. Alright, fire team, come on. Failure is not the path of enlightenment. Sunny deployed. One on point, one on point. Yeah. If anyone can get close to the triple stack, put the beacon up. And let's get the full squads out of either either out of armor or get their armor into the base. And this is one of those situations where, like, when your objectives kind of sync up, you don't need, always have to have the two different fire teams doing different things. So in this instance, I would just say, you know, forget fire teams for the moment. I would just want the full squad pushing on A point. Spot on the east facing Sunday, and let's just everyone start grouping up together, stay near other people. We need plenty of medics. I'm coming, deal. Thanks, President. Nice, nice. Keep pushing, we're almost in. Keep reses going out, I'm coming deal, and then I'll, I'll get Bjorn after that. Up the stairs, up the stairs, come on. Are you in the stairs, watch out. Two in there, two on point, two on point, one's down. One left, 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 there you go, get, get reses out. Alright, we're on point. We need to get a beacon up on the stairs, please. Hold those stairs, hold those stairwells. Need help on open. Enemy soldier down. So this is a situation where you could start, you know, splitting the fire teams again. So, for example, I want Hearts to go where Bjorn is. Go where Bjorn's turret is. Hearts, you hold that stairwell. Diamonds, hold the other stairwell. Diamonds on me, diamonds on me. This is a situation where we're doing this, we're holding the same rough area, but we're having very slightly different objectives, but you can still do calls, call outs in squad. 
is whether or not the the heart stairs or the or the diamond stairs breached are relevant to both squads or fire teams. Nice to know. Don't go too far down the stairs. We need another alpha beacon up. Someone put it on the stairwell where that hard light canopy is. Looking good, looking good. Keep holding. Just keep them suppressed at the stairs. Watch out for any light assaults. Close windows. Windows, windows. I need Keep the max on the stairs. Max on the stairs, everyone else watch the windows. They're bringing a lot, lot of light assaults in. We've got light assaults coming from the roof, watch out. Give the windows a wide berth, because they have a lot of light assaults trying to get in. Watch the roof, watch the windows. Ah, uh, coming in balcony. Uh, squad. Hard squad, watch balcony. To go for an engineer on this diamond, Max. Horus needs repaired. On it. I am an engineer. Stairs. Thank you. Just keep everyone up, plenty of recursion. Medics, keep keep back to your job. Enzon's down. Get that max up. Can we get a revive on the max, please? Close stairs. Cover me, horse. Cover me. Close ceiling. Or roof. I'm an engineer. I'll repair you. Yeah, roof, roof, roof. I'm coming, HC. Keep it up. 20 seconds. All right, it's a 15 second mark. I want full squad converge on A point. Full squad on A. Back to back mode on the A point. Both fire teams. They cannot flip the point as long as we are on it. Nicely done. Nicely done. Clear them out. Go ahead and push out. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, good work. That's nice dumb. So, hopefully, I think that I think that probably did the best job of, of explaining how similar but different it is. It's it's uh, for a lot of bases, it's going to effectively be the same thing as if you were running a squad without worrying about the fire teams. But you're just kind of using the fire teams to kind of do call outs to do like very limited objectives that are that you would do anyway, it's just a whole lot easier to say hearts on these stairs, diamonds on these stairs, rather than saying, I need some of you on these stairs, some of you on these it, it It just, it brings things into like a crisper image, frames. Alright, let's see. Hey, what else do I have to go over?